My name is Professor Harsh Chad. How many of you all see the sunrise last? About two weeks before. About when? Two weeks before. How is the sunrise now? Does anybody know? Everyone knows how it's sunset because the sun disappears. But how does everyone know that it's sunrise? When the newspaper says it's 4 16 or 5 16 in the morning, how do you know in Nepal that it's sunrise? Does anybody know that? Yeah, what did you say? From the business uh, of medium time. Not only for Nepal, not only for Kathmandu, but worldwide. And what are the issues that the world and the population of six and a half to seven billion people have to address? And that's how you can make the change. And this is a presentation also which is uh, developed by me and I'd like to share it with you. This is a photograph of a volcano, active volcano in Hawaii, flowing lava into the Pacific Ocean. More 50% of the world, world population lives today in regions likely to be struck by at least one of the following disasters. Earthquake, flood, drought, landslide, cyclone, or volcanic eruptions. Everyone understands? <coughs> yeah? Yeah? Okay. The average sea level should continue to rise by some 60 centimeters. By 2000, 2100, this is about 20% of the world population. And that's a very big number, 20%, you know. That is taken in Myanmar, in Burma. See how he is fishing? He uses his leg. He doesn't use his hand, and he uses both his hands to put the net to pick up the fish. In the past 50 years, quarter of the fisheries in the world have been seriously depleted. 20% use broad animals, and less than two have a trap. Fair trade has helped 1 million farmers and with their families 6 million people overall. So you see mechanized farming is still not easily accessible worldwide and it's still not available to the farmers. They're still using the cow, they're still using other traditional ways of farming. 10% of the energy consumed around the world comes from non-renewable resources. And far faster than we can Back. Oil supplies 40% of the world's energy is demand. In the Euro Accord, we are only asking for 5% 5 reduction. But in actuality, we need at least 50% reduction. This presentation is just to highlight to you what happens outside Kathmandu, what happens outside Nepal, what happens outside Asia, what happens to the whole world. How does it impact us? If the temperature goes up, one degree, how does all the snow on the Himalayas get affected? How does it affect the animals? How does it affect the birds? How does it affect you all? How does it affect the crops? How does it affect the economy? How does it affect the farmers? How does it affect the transportation? Everything is affected through our environment. We are a part of our environment and unfortunately we are only not aware of what is happening to it on a worldwide basis. And my job is to slowly make you aware about this. I think you students studying in this environmental college are being taught about issues. But I want you to be aware, other than the theory, and how each one of you can make a difference. The first thing that is there that you all can make a difference is to be aware of the problem. Some of these problems you can make a difference, some of them you cannot. Do you all agree or disagree? Right? How many of you agree that you all can make a difference? One girl in the whole room? Anyone else agrees? That they can make a difference to the environmental issues of Nepal? Uh, what is happening in the environment to the, all of our students here? And in this regard, we want to appreciate your presentation and this lecture. Thank you.